so let's see what we need to know when it comes to love and of course we start with the bottom of the deck for the overall energy the most important one at this time one that we need to pay attention to and it is two of pentacles we are struggling and knight of swords uh, might be lack of communication lack of action we do have the sun and they might have blocked us can be a leo energy um and uh we are struggling right now right we want happiness we want movement we want action we want things to be out in the open i know i know and yet we have you upside down and probably away from someone let's see so past energies ten of cups in reverse nine of wands in reverse five of pentacles in reverse and page i know page of swords in reverse which is you three of wands in reverse three of swords i am not surprised we are still healing over here three of wands and six of cups so what do we have here gemini definitely a heartbreak right that's why we are struggling struggling right now so three of swords it feels like it was unexpected three of wands in reverse is really unexpected happened out of nowhere page of swords in reverse i don't think we have communication with someone uh, and boy we have a ton of love we have fi uh, five of pentacles they rejected us they said no thank you this made us um you know unhappy um and the nine of wands in reverse it's the feeling that you know what i don't feel like persevering i don't feel like you know um being up and and uh doing the journey um out of love right and every time we get gemini the six of cups yeah it's the energy of body mind and soul is the energy of reconciliation is the energy of love but it is also the energy of um putting uh, pink glasses on right and we see the connection better than actually it was and um it's kind of like the universe reminding someone they hurt us they blocked us they rejected us communication was poor um maybe in existence ghosting out of nowhere um so no thank you right um it has this energy and with the three of wands it's like we can look at the future you know we can look at the future so energies right now we can have expectations three of wands is the energy of expectations um so the empress the moon places energy taurus libra energy queen of swords in reverse this is your royal self king of cups in reverse pisces cancer scorpio oh okay ace of cups in reverse ten of swords in reverse i love this i know six of swords in reverse and the ace of wands yeah so for some of you we do have new beginnings but I, I i i understand you i absolutely get this um ten of swords in reverse gemini we are healing we are seeing the situation for what this is we are not out of the woods just yet six of swords in reverse kind of tells me you are still in tormented waters we are still emotional but recovering with the moon this is the energy of depression anxiety is the energy of the betrayal and pain um a rage anger right we have the queen of swords which is your energy with the six of swords in reverse right on big waves and and maybe sometimes um you know moving from rage uh to sadness because we also have the king of cups in reverse i don't feel can be a pisces cancer scorpio i don't feel um uh, away from you but i mainly feel that you are um of course maturing in the process i mean queen and king right it's a, it's a beautiful mature energy but it's in reverse so we move from rage to emotions to sadness to rage again and it's normal don't worry it's part of the process i do love the empress which means that you have help around you but i'm not sure you are taking the cup we have the ace of cups in reverse is the energy of rejection you are pushing away an emotional offer doesn't mean other people can be or simply um you know uh, someone a uh, feminine energy more mature than you who can help i believe we are not open just yet um still suffering here with the uh, ten of swords six of swords still not moving away from whatever hurt us and still struggling right to 
um, go through the day. The Knight of Swords is the energy of action and movement, is the energy of traveling, the energy of doing stuff, accomplishing stuff. Maybe a little bit rushed without a plan, but hey, as long as we keep moving, right? And I kind of feel right now we are uh, struggling with our happiness, with our detachment, seeing things, taking opportunities. And again, moving uh, between rage and love and back to rage and back to sadness. So, uh, But there is someone out there loving. Uh, the Empress is the most loving energy, is the most creative energy. The Empress can be you. And because it's a major arcana, the, the universe... Uh, says to some of you, well, you have the imagination and the creativity, right, to come out of it. You have the emotional balance, you have the emotional strength, you have the nurturing and the loving energies around you to overcome this. And I feel you are on the right path. I mean, the moon in reverse, ten of swords, we are definitely healing. We are definitely coming out of the woods. It's not just yet. It's a process, right? So let's have the outcome. I am excited because it was a mess. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, they've made a lot of damages, right? And we are still waiting for them with the Three of Wands. And we still have emotions and it's like waiting for communication. And we are not seeing the Ace of Wands, right? The exciting new beginnings, the emotional, uh, emotionally fulfilling new beginnings. We don't see them just yet. But the universe is here saying, hey, you know, I don't want to say wake up, but this is what I'm hearing. Um, so the outcome, more healing. Ten of Swords in reverse, Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Lovers, which is your energy. Knight of Swords in reverse. The Empress again, swear that is, and the Ten of Pentacles. That is someone in your family not knowing what's going on. We have them confused. That is someone maybe you work with, the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups. Somebody is worried for you. Um, the outcome is more healing. That is no doubt. Ten of Swords in reverse with the lovers. This is your energy, uh, Gemini. And um, this is about self-love. This is about healing. This is about take it one step at a time and don't make abrupt movements, right? Knight of Swords in reverse with um, the Knight of Pentacles. This is more of advice of having a strategy, being meticulous about this healing, being, being meticulous about pulling the swords one by one and moving back to your whole self. And, um, and I love the Empress energy. It comes with Nine of Swords. So somebody can ease your mind. And again, can be a mom, can be someone significant, can be a person in your life that is very loving towards you and very open. Maybe she does it. It can be masculine or feminine energy, by the way. So they might be confused, he or she, but that is no doubt they can ease your mind. Somebody is actually willing and longing and waiting. They have so much love for you. And again, can be someone from the family. And I say that because we have and the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So help is here, um, Gemini. Help is here. I'm, I'm, maybe you are too busy right now that you don't see it. But there is this loving energy around you. Um, wanting to help, actually. I'm not seeing your love, but I'm seeing your beginnings. And I'm seeing a beautiful, beautiful healing process. Um, I mean, confirmations, twice the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. Um, so many confirmations that we are healing. And this beautiful, um, loving energy is around you. That you are surrounded with, the Empress, right? Somebody keeps an, an eye on you to make sure you're safe, right? That you're minded at this, that you are healing and... Uh, and it's definitely from family, somebody who is willing to, to ensure your stability, financial, keep you safe, right? That's the Ten of Pentacles, legacy, family, safety. And um, they are right there for you, Gemini. So um, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know. We need to know something about intimacy. And let's have some more. When I get that, I get concerned. Oh, intimacy and abundance. And the Empress is abundance, by the way. So I kind of feel that it's 
I don't feel intimacy as a physical bond, but I do feel that we need to get closer to someone who will bring you abundance and um, in so many forms. I know it's kind of 3D, the Empress. Um, in terms of, 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 you know, assets and things coming to you. Ten of Pentacles is as well, um, you know, um, like, you know, physical, um, like gifts and stuff, you know, and money and abundance, but it's also the safety of a home. And I kind of feel that you need to get closer to someone who is uh, making sure that you have what you need, right? And we have forgiveness, I know. So acting from a place of higher self, I feel that you are guided to forgive them, um, Gemini. And again, forgiveness doesn't mean accepting what they've done. It's more about um, releasing ourselves from that energy. And we do have commitment, right? And bottom of the deck, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. I know. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for this commitment, um, Gemini. Forgiveness and commitment, it's okay. You know, we make decisions and we make the best of decisions with the knowledge we have, right? So at that time. And I kind of feel that you need to get closer to people who can, um, you know, take care of you, right? And focus on love and, uh, and move closer to someone. Honestly, it feels, again, feels like family and parents um, and relatives and and forgive yourself for whatever decision about commitment you've made. Words of affirmation, trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, right? So trust the process, trust this. We do have self-love. I'm not surprised. Self-love. You realize uh, that love of self is necessary to love another Again, that's how we activate self-love I re by saying to yourself, right? I realize that love of self is necessary to, to love another. Forgiveness twice. I am again not surprised because I'm seeing a lot of rage, uh, Gemini. Um, I mean, uh, kind of a back and forth between rage and sadness. And I feel that we need to let go of this. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and we have you have tr trust twice and forgiveness twice kind of like trust and forgive um so surrender to trust trust yourself and your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinion about what you do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path and bottom of the deck patience it takes time I accept that everything happens in divine order. So um, there is nothing else to do for you, Gemini, but to forgive and to trust. Okay. Um, so, hey, this is all that I have for you. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe. Please stay strong and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.